Hello. Good evening, everyone. It's time. Tonight, presented for your pleasure, is Sorcery Sealed. Perhaps the very first time? Probably the very first time? Uh, on we, the whole the, internet? The YouTube clickbait title says first time. First time. Regardless of whether we're not, we are or not. So We've got... I doubt, I doubt it'll make it to litigation. But. Yeah. We've got these digital packs. First time. Uh... We're going to be building some sealed decks out of these pools. These are very generously provided to us by Emberleaf, who took time out of his busy, busy schedule to uh, hook me up with some TTS packs. Um, Emberleaf is working on a mod for a tabletop simulator where there will be a pack generator and you'll be able to play draft. So that's very exciting. It's not near ready yet. It's it's kind of buggy yeah. still, but there are there's he needs there's to work on classic, a bit more, but yeah. There's some classic code workarounds in effect right now. So, um, for instance, it, Justin, if you want to talk about the locations real quick. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'll, I'll quick, mention that. Yeah. I just want to. Yeah, and Emberleaf is, is going to be. He, he's been working on literally rewording every single card in the game. So don't like say, hey, when's yeah. this done? When's it going to be done? When's it going to be done? <laughs> It'll be done when it's done. Probably it's a tertiary, time. It's a, this is a, a tertiary uh, goal. Yeah, like, so one of the issues is whenever I'm going to zoom in on, on a uh, location, it's going to be always in portrait orientation because that's how the coding has to orient it so it can shuffle together with other cards into packs, if that makes sense, <laughs> without uh, squishing itself. So we'll have to sort of turn our heads to the side whenever we look at uh, locations tonight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these six packs it, each. We're going to... Do you not already have a uh, perfect... Uh, recollection of every card in sorcery already. I'm almost there. I'm close to it. <laughs> I've been looking at cards a lot. Um, so we're going to be taking our six packs. We'll we'll take we'll open them. We will sort them, uh, and we'll each build a deck. Now the deck sizes are not finalized yet for what what limited limited is usually like smaller yeah. deck sizes for this most is, TCGs. This is, so. a, this is a test drive, right? So this is a test drive. Uh, yeah, this feedback. If you if you see something that's kind of goofy and stuff like that, I, I, they're open to the feedback right now. So yeah, so this is sort of like we're gonna experience sealed for the first time together uh, and see how it goes. The so we're gonna do fifteen card atlas. You're gonna be able to use any of these ordinary sites, as many as you want. Uh, I guess up to four copies of each one. You still can't go above that ordinary limit, but that that's up to twelve, right? Um, for just one color. And I don't think it's going to be very easy to build a monocolor deck out of six card packs. So 15 card Atlas and then 25 card Spellbook is what we're going to go with. So that's the, that's the deck building goals. And then you can choose whatever um, sorcerer you want to choose. I don't know why these are upside down on my screen. Can I, okay. I can reorient to that. Okay. I can, okay. I, I can reorient uh, lands too, but it's just, it like, I have to reorient oh, everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I yeah. Gotcha. So I'll try to make it a uh, good viewing experience. It just excuse yeah. my camera work if I have to shift <laughs> stuff a lot of times. Um, we'll, uh, we're going to chew out the producer after this one. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute myself in Discord and I'll, I'll talk about my deck building uh, so that Nathan can't hear it and then Nathan can do his thing. Unfortunately, we can't get both perspectives due to the nature of streaming Tabletop Simulator being only from one perspective. Uh, which you is, better mute me in Discord, otherwise I'll just talk over your explanation. Are you just going to talk to yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to trust you not like to talk. Listening. Unless you have something. Uh, you can you can make exclamations like, Oh my god, I can't believe I got this card. <laughs> hey, hey, check it out! I got an Eric's Curiosa! <laughs> uh, so these packs were generated. That The sealed slot, or the uh, foil slot is not in play here where it, that would that would normally like swap out of a, a, an ordinary i thought i don't think that coding is in yet but we got 10 ordinaries per pack thank you chewy speaker for that Appreciate subscribe that. 15 months awesome uh 10 ordinaries per pack three exceptionals and then the elite or unique slot is is in play so that's that's our itemization here and uh yeah we'll just kind of we'll go and i'll i'll okay. see you on the other side nathan all right goodbye okay i've muted Nathan, if you could hear me, say something. Or don't. He's going to be cheating. Okay, so I'm just going to start opening these packs. So uh, these come just in stacks of 14. And I'm just going to sort them into color to start out with. Ooh, okay, so we got a unique here. Okay, that's a probably pretty good one. I mean, I think like the five power airborne probably puts in a lot of work, right? 
All right, so we got that. We got some. We got two fire exceptionals in this pack. I like the the pilgrim. I did some pilgrim stuff the other week. Kite archer. Adding to my air plan. And we're just gonna see like how many um, numbers of each element we get, and we'll kind of work from there. I think uh, so. We're leaning toward like the air now because of that unique. It's more earth. Uh, I like these nomads a lot. Pirate ship's really strong. I like those guys too. And Sandworm. So we got five, two, five, and two. Interesting, right? All right, that's that pack. We're just going to delete the pack as we go. Hopefully I don't accidentally delete any cards. Um, okay, so our elite is a near miss in this pack. Which I think is decent. So that right now we're like, we have an air unique and a water unique, and a water elite, so. Flood. Okay. Okay, we got a land here. Quagmire. Uh, okay, that's that's not that's not nothing. That's not nothing. Ordinary counterspell. Yeah, I think that's going to be very very powerful in this format, right? Because a lot of ordinary cards are going to be in the decks at the end of the day. Border militia, Amazon warriors. I like those. Those are solid stat wise, right? And they're only one Earth uh, threshold, which is probably relevant. Roaming monsters, good. Blink is good. Dispel may be relevant. Um, that's it's gonna be tough to like pack that n without knowing if Nathan was is gonna have a relic or aura, right? That's that's probably better in a draft format where you can kind of see what's going around the table. Um, Dead of Night Demon is solid. Mad Dash is okay, and some Wild Boars. Okay, it's back two. Where are we at number wise? Seven fire, five air. Eight water, seven earth. So pretty, pretty even. Kind of light on air, which is unfortunate because I want to play that flying guy. So we'll see how that shakes out. I like these dryads. It's our ordinary. Um, this pack was flipped as far as where the the rarities were. Nomads, mad dash, uh, unravel. Okay, this is another relic destruction card. Dispel, whirling blades. I like whirling blades. Power chip. That's two power chips, I think. Another blink, like that. Cloud sir, cloud spirit. It's great. Sneak Thief. That's our elite. Okay, so we got a water elite. Cone of Fire. Cone of Flame. Is our exceptional. Another exceptional red. And an exceptional porcupine. Lethal Submerged Water Brown. Okay. And then some wild boars. So we're at 11, 8, 12, 10. Okay. Ooh, another land. The Shifting Sands. Um... People were complaining about this being broken, I think. So we uh we definitely want to think about playing that pretty hard. Plus we got that flame, our cone of flame. Fire's looking pretty good. Okay, we got the harpies. Harpies are great. Headless haunt. Love that. Um this is our elite for the pack, Syrian Templar. Which is like it's okay. It's not a bomb as far as elites go, right? It's just sort of solid. But it's not it it might not have the power to shift a game, which I think is what you want on your elites and sealed unicorn, sent hounds, teleport, mercenaries, the buffaloes, another blink. That's like three blinks. <laughs> I mean, it's like it cantrips, so I think it's pretty fine. Yet another cantrip, blizzard. We like blizzard too. Spin attack and a dodge roll. 13, 13, 14, 14. Interesting. Very close. Okay. We got a secret tunnel. This is an exceptional site. Unburrowing. I probably am not going to be doing a heavy unburrow uh, package, so I think the secret tunnel is going to be not played, if I had to guess. Uh, Monster Hunter. Exceptional. Servers and Chains. That's number two. Ooh, what's this? Elite site. This island can only be played on avoid non Jason Wayne site. I kinda like that. Um that lets you play some some nonlinear strategies, right, with your Atlas placement. Teleport. Camel. Some trolls. Riptide. An eel. Counterspell. Cloud Spirit. 
Boss Control, and uh, Camel, Caravan. The two site Caravan. All right, so we're at 17, 15, 16, 18. And one pack to go. I think my best card is still the Lord of the Skies, I believe. All right, the Turtles. Iron Skin, we know. It's the most powerful ability in the game. The Berry is great. Sleep is also very powerful. Uh, Entangle Terrain. Scent Hounds. Scourge Zombie. There's a lot of Earth cards here. Ooh. Oh, oh these Hippogriffs are pretty sweet. Minor Explosion. Some Mummies. Okay. Uh, what's our first relic right here? That's like, it's like okay. I don't know how powerful this is. This might be worth playing in sealed. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Twister. Twister is good, right? It's it's soft removal slash maybe real removal. Some bannermen. Those are great. Immolation. Well, we're playing. We're playing fire then, right? This card is this card's really good. Uh, and then our last card is Men of Lang. I mean, it's like one for seven damage. It's three fire first threshold. So we got 20 fire, 17 air, 18 water, 24 earth. We could actually like play mono earth if we wanted to. I was saying to Nathan, I didn't think um, that mono element was going to be that doable in sealed, but I could be wrong about that, right? Because like these are relatively evenly distributed. Um, as far as packs go, like this is probably pretty accurate as to how you would see a seal pool in real life when you open real packs in the future. Um, with the exception of you'll average about one foil per six packs, so that that could upgrade to an elite or unique. Even then, it's unlikely to do so, right? Because you have like a foil in one in four packs, and then it checks rarity again. So. But occasionally you get a seal pool with an extra bomb, I guess. All right, so I, I want to play fire because of inhalation. I think I want to play air because of Lord of Skies. So what's what's my like thresholds looking like? So that's two. I really like the hippogriffs as well. Those are two. And I think almost everything else is okay. So blinks. I have three blinks, right? Blink, blink, blink. And those are all two. Roaming monsters two. Kite archer one. So my goal is to get to two earth air threshold. And let's see what we got in the fire. There are thresholds look like. Obviously, emulations three. Cerberus two, Pilgrim two, 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 two. One, one, one. Cone of Flame is only five, or only one threshold. That's great. The Harpies are two. I wonder if I'll play this game well. I feel like, I feel like one or two power guy when I'm going to be skipping one mana uh, a lot of the time, especially with this like Earth towers is not good enough i wonder if this camel needs a little something right a little something to make it interesting because this is arguably like the one of the worst units of the game right um caravan minor explosion obviously is going in that's two threshold and immolation so let's check let's just check water make sure i'm not like missing anything is there an earth in my fire pile i wouldn't doubt it uh, I don't think so. I might have just like hovered over Men of Ling over on the left here by accident for a second. So that could have been what happened. Search. Uh, so let's see. Sleep is kind of a bomb, right? Because it turns off a, a future bomb. I don't know that I have good removal in fire that's not just damage base. Um, just the emulation, the cone, and the minor explosion. That's basically it, right? The twister in air, maybe the only removal I have. So, but in, in water, I have the riptide. I have. Dodge roll is probably good. The fire chips are great. Flood is pretty good, especially if we're getting the pirate chips in there, right? But other than that, I don't I like sleep's the most tempting part of the water pool, but I don't think it's enough to carry it. And then we'll take a quick look at Earth. Car or is it two ordinary carnage spells? I mean, that's the, that's pretty strong, right? Um, Border Militia is definitely strong, I think, in this format, because the, the opponent won't necessarily have an answer for all your one power dudes. And you can load up on villages. So if I played Mono Earth, I could, like, have 12 villages. Amazons are great. Dispel. 
like I said, you don't know if it's going to be good or not. Wild boars, again, same argument as the camels. Uh, these guys are great, for sure. Unicorn is solid. There's the Templar. Mercenary, again, probably pretty good with a village strategy. Scent hounds are just fine. Another ordinary counter spell. It's three counter spells. Boss control, that's what I'm talking about. That's three power. That's a three power boy right there. A berry. Outstanding. Uh, Entangled Terrain probably is also very good. I think I think my mono earth would actually be decent. I think, I think it would be not that bad. But I believe I'm going to end up going with the air fire plan. So we'll try that out. Which, which of these sites am I going to play? Not that. Definitely that. Definitely that. Not that. And we'll play we'll play this to be cheeky. And then um, we'll see what playables I'm going to end up actually packing. And then we'll decide on our, our basics. So emulation in 100%. The mummies. Uh, yeah, they're probably fine. They're probably fine. Three power, three. It's fine. Definitely in. Probably definitely in. Goons, definitely in. Camel, on the chopping block. Cerberus, in. Spin attack, great. Harpies, great. Willow, the wisp, maybe. Maybe. It's probably fine. Cone of flame, in. Mad dash, maybe. Nomads, pretty good. I would say pretty good. I like the movement plus one of those guys. Uh, Mad Dash 2. Will Wisp 2. Sandworm. Burrowing and Firebound. Can move while burrowed. Can move while burrowed. That's kind of cool. The Firebound is going to hurt this a lot because I'm going to be very limited on where I can play this. I think this is, this is probably going to get not played because of that. Because I'm going to be playing towers and stuff. So it's going to be very limited as where it's going to be able to go unless Nathan's playing fire. Which could, could be but I don't think I can rely on that. I think if there's like a best of three uh, limited environment, you can like side these guys in against your opponent playing fire, which is kind of cool. Uh, Spellcaster. This is a maybe I do have a few spells that need line of sight. So I love the nomads. Uh, Pilgrim. I'm a pilgrim kind of guy. And another Cerberus. Okay, so that's 13. Let's see what we got as far as air goes. Okay, Twister is uh, definitely in. And Hippogriffs are in. Cloud Spirit, I think, is a, probably a solid two drop. I, like, I might need that for curve reasons. Teleport, uh, probably. That's not the shopping block. This is like, it's okay. It's good. I'm not saying it's not good. The movement option is great. But I have three blinks too, so I don't know, necessarily want to overload on that effect. I do like Blizzard. I do like Blizzard. The, the wind sight restriction might be tough for me since I'm playing dual, so I might not be able to play it where I want to play it. So I think I'm going to put that on the chopping block. Fade is great because it can't cantrips. Blink is in. Teleport, same reason. Headless Haunt. Love a good Headless Haunt. We love Headless Haunt here. Again, Cloud Spirit because of the threshold and the cost is fine. Blink in. Whirling Blades. Movement and removal. Love it. Uh, two, three power stealth. Great. Blink in. Roaming Monster. Just fine. Kite Archer. Cost. Power range. Just fine. Lord of the Skies. Obviously, that's why we're playing air. Okay. So my playable numbers are 14 and 13, so I want to cut down to 25. I gotta cut three... two cards. Two cards. Alright, so let's, what do we got in the air here? Like that, like that, like that. Um, let's sort by... Let's sort this pile by cost. Let's put all these up. No! Oh no. Okay, hold on. I can I can fix this. They're on top right. Yeah. And we're back to 13. Okay. 13 and 14. Alright, we got six. Let's move all this stuff over. Oh, I kinda wanted to play this too. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. We're not playing these. We're not playing these. All right, so four, three, two, six, two, five, uh, four, three, four, three. No, so that's my fire stuff plus the air guy. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Am I missing? Oh, did I make it? Did I drag a pile? Okay, I did drag a pile. Three, four, three, three, one. But that's not really one. It's a lie. Three, three. Okay. Two, five, two, two, three. Oops. Let me do this to take the UI away. Okay. Two, two, three, two, fade, two, six, three. All right. So I got to cut two cards. This two stack's pretty large. Um, I can probably cut one of these. I don't really want to cut a blink um, just because of cantrips, right? I think I can cut. It's it's like tempting to cut a nomad because of that two fire threshold, like the the cloud spirit's better because I can play it on turn one right with a tower, but I can't do that with a nomad. I think I'm gonna cut a nomad. I'm gonna cut a nomad. I don't love it, but I think that's got what I gotta do. And then. Oh, thanks for that follow. Uh, maybe it's something in this three spot. Is Pilgrim good enough? It's a spellcaster. It can draw me cards. It's good with the... I am uh, ready when you are. Okay, I shouldn't be that much longer. Um, Mummies are cool. Minor explosions definitely. And oh, goons. Spin attack... Because, like, Whirling Blades of Swords serving that spin attack purpose, so that's that's fine. We can cut spin attack, I think. Making the hard decisions. And then this should be a cool 25. The question is, do we find a spot for this trinket? I don't know. It's exceptional. Could this trinket stand to be better? That's my question. Is this trinket good? And I'm just not giving it a, a shot, right? Is it is it secretly super great? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, I think I'm going to sideline it for now. And we'll just go with what we got here. So I have uh, my stack. It's 25 cards. Okay. How many thresholds do I have? I got to count my thresholds. So three. Three fire. Let's, let's count fire first. So three fire. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Wait, am I playing a camel? No, I'm playing the caravan. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen fire. Remember, nineteen fire. Uh, air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920, 21, 21 air, 19 fire, relatively even. Uh, we're going to play one land that has no threshold. We're going to play one shifting sands. <clears throat> so we need 13 more lands. So let's get some towers. So let's do uh, seven towers and six deserts. Which tower are we making two of? The Dark Tower. Return to Dark Tower. Okay. This should be... 13. Easy split, yeah. Fifteen. Twenty-five. Okay. We're here. We've arrived. All right. I'm going to toss all this other extra stuff in this pack. Boom. Oh, look Just at like that. that. Yeah, so that's that easy. If, it, if, the, if the physical sorcery packs cannot hold 400 cards, <laughs> then sorcery will be a failure. Strictly worse Strictly <laughs> than every other card game. Okay, so I'm playing Air Fire. I am playing Earth Air. 
I think my sorcerer is going to be sorcerer. <laughs> my avatar is going to be sorcerer. Uh, okay. I let's see. I didn't actually put that much thought into it. Um, I didn't either till just now. But I think, yeah, it's probably fine. Wind is probably an argument, but I, th I like the cards from Sorcerer. If you have to be on a wind site, I think I want the cards from Sorcerer too. So just yeah, I think, that's, I think Sorcerer is going to be like what I, we're going to pick that, concealed until there's yeah, more options available, right? Yeah. yeah. It just seems that, like the most generic, like good yeah, Earth answer. Is, Earth is a consideration because if if you have like an Earth enough Earth sites, you could just take your avatar yeah. and mark it across the board. So I had uh, I had twenty four Earth cards in my pool. Mm, I could okay. have built mono Earth, and I had three ordinary counter spells, which is like <laughs> I feel like pretty good in this format, right? Yeah. So I opened five of a card. Mm, um, okay. I'm not playing it. I'm uh -oh. not playing all five copies. But Are you playing some copies of it? Yeah, I'm playing a single copy of it. Okay. Because I think it is, I mean, I, I'll, I'll mention it when, it when it pops up, but yeah. All right, here we go. First ever sealed game. Sorcery contested realm 17. 17. 18. Easy. Uh, great. Great job. <laughs> All right. So three lands and yep. four cards because we're sorcerer. Yeah. I think the teleport is really valuable because I think you're going to be chasing people around. I think so, too. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting conundrum I'm in right now. I think I might have to mulligan. Yeah, I think I have to mulligan. Yeah, we're mulliganing. I get to opt one. That's the you do rule. get to opt one. Yeah. So the top opt, opt one of either deck, or is it both decks, or is it just my spell deck? Uh, I think it's just your spell deck. Yeah. Alt shift. Mm, okay. Um. Uh, I think, I think this is a good card. So I'm gonna leave that on top. All right. So I am first. Yep. Uh, I do not draw. So I'm going to tap my sorcerer to play the Dark Tower. Um, and this gives me an extra mana until the end of the turn. So I've got two mana. I'm going to use that to play the Dead of Night Demon. Okay. So with stealth. Now, how does stealth work? As long as I have not used it, it is not targetable or yes what? yes if anyone wants okay. to copy and paste the stealth rule in chat yeah if somebody's editing if anyone's <laughs> editing the fan wiki and has that just in their clipboard and wants to dump that in the chat that'll help me but yeah uh but if i've moved it if i've done any of this anything like that it no longer has to, like, if you've moved it i think it's still fine you just can't attack okay. until it takes an action and like when it attacks yeah that's or interacts with a relic i think i think okay okay sure all right anyway, the dead of night demon is out all right. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to draw a card from a spell book. Okay. We're going to play Sight. We'll play this desert. Movement's okay. When it deals, deals damage, damage. it still. Okay. Okay. All right. Easy enough. All right, that is my turn. I don't have anything to do with the one mana. All right. I am going to draw my spell. Man, can't be targeted by opponent's cards or attacks. I mean, you lose stealth if it attacks, blocks, deals damage, or activates an ability. There you go. Attacks, blocks, or deals damage. Okay. So if you use a stealth minion to fire a ballista, I, I guess that like we can... It's not a very stealthy thing to do, right? Yeah, I don't think so either. If All the right, stealth minion throws spell. the Spear of Destiny... It the people become aware of it. All right, I'm jamming down another dark tower. Okay. I got three mana. Uh, I'm going to play this waypoint portal. Okay. Mm I'm going to choose this site and your <laughs> desert. All right. And they're adjacent for the purposes of moving this turn. And I draw a card, so I'll Great. draw one. Cool. All right, my guy does not have stealth because he is attacking you. <laughs> okay. Ow. I'm attacking you for three. 
Well, it's from a second ballista in the grassy knoll. That's that would be the stealth ballista. Well then. Surprise, demons. Hmm. How does Sick this work? <laughs> I do Sick that. opener. How does this work? Okay, uh, so my turn? Yep. I'll draw a spell. Okay. I feel like I need to... This, so I think... Oh, this this could randomly not work, right? Okay. Uh, the thing I'm looking at right now. I I can't see it. I know. So I know this. So I think what I do is tap to play a site. This nowhere island. Oh. So it can uh, only be played on a void or not on a void not adjacent to any site. So okay. where do I want to put this? Not adjacent to any of my stuff. I could put it here. I could put it here or here. No, I couldn't put it there. I could put it here. Or I could put it up in this corner. Putting it like near stuff sort of makes it me vulnerable to it. Now I got to deal with this stupid idiot down here too. So, um, We're just going to play it right here. I think. I think. Actually, let's play right here. All right. Uh, two mana. I am done. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get some more free demon beats. Yeah. Fat beats by demon. All right. I am untapping. I'm going to draw a land. Diagonals are not adjacent. It's going to be... Orthogonals are adjacent. All right. I am tapping my sorcerer to drop down a rustic village. Okay. Uh, that's going to give me one soldier. And then I am going to spend three mana to play the plume Pegasus. Okay. How do I kill that? Um, yeah. The diagonals are nearby, yep. All right. Uh, so, yeah, the Plume Pegasus comes out for three. This demon's going to beat on you. This demon from Nightmares. Yeah. All right, it's your turn. Okay. We're going to draw from the Atlas. Or, I'm sorry, from the Spellbook. Oh, oh. All right, we're going to tap to play a site. We're going to play this tower. The dark tower. No, sorry. Yeah, it is a dark tower. Um, you go to four mana. We're going to play this cavalry. Occupies two uh, sites, four power. It's hanging out in these two sites here. And that is my turn. All right, I am going to draw a spell book. This is it's feeling like these games are going to go fast. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we, we could very we well. Could probably, we could play another game with these with the same decks. We'll see what happens. I'm not mad at that for limited. No, that's good for limited. Right. You want to be like, if you could play best of three in an, in an hour. Um, there's nothing. With there's nothing worse. And stuff that's great. There's there's nothing worse than a limited tournament where like the rounds take an hour and fifteen oh, minutes. Yeah, the, they go to time. Multiple people are at turns and stuff like that. Right, like we're here to open packs, mm. and jam games. Right, like yeah. let's let's get out of the way of that. All right, I am gonna. Uh, play a location. Um, I think I play the 
village here, which is going to give me a token. Um, and then I am going to play the Pudge Butcher. Oh, God. Right here, I think. Okay. Um, the Plumed Pegasus is going to attack this location. Okay, for three. Your Nowhere Island for three. Pudge and then butcher. the Foot Soldier is going to attack for one. All right. Okay, and uh, my demon. Oh wait, my demon. He just back off. Yeah, because now we can block with the camels of the caravan. Do I leave the demon here because that forces your caravan to hang back? You just like attack. I think is that the tactical play. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, that was something I wanted to comment on uh, uh, the tactics of this game, right? I think it's lost in a lot of the discussion. It's like magic, you look at like a, you know, a four, four for four, and you're like, oh, okay, this is a, it doesn't like whatever, right? But in this situation, this four, four, protects two sites. So yeah. Tactically, there's an advantage there. Um, and now I have to like decide what I want to do with this demon. If I move this demon over, could I block the attack if you... With a soldier. Would... Yeah, you could. Okay. Yeah, we are, so we are then... playing you can block undefended uh, sites with adjacent minions. Sure. So. All right. Now I'll move back my, uh, my demon because then I can use my soldier to protect my demon, right? Yeah. Um, and it is your turn. Okay. I'll draw an Atlas card. All right, good. I'll tap to play a site. I'm going to play this here. Dark Tower. All Move right. It to five mana. And. Look, you kind of jank. Yeah, I noticed that uh, you, you were like really. I don't know if you have enough cards for dash. To make for to make mechanologist work in the commoner not 100% sure we're going to play Cerberus and Chains for four wait do we have, wait, I do not have the threshold for that actually I only have one oh, fire threshold you got the one fire mm, yeah, that's, got that's Unforch I'm going to play this Dead of Night Demon hey. my Dead of Night Demon now can't um, see him I know he's out there he's, uh, I'm going to smash your Dead of Night Demon with my camels. Okay, so I can defend with the foot soldier, right? Yeah. Okay, so the foot soldier is dosed. You could technically defend with Pudge, but oh, it's a mobile. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he's going to hook. Yeah, he's got to hook. Notably, my dead knight even can defend for here and here now, so that's good. And well, yeah. you're not defending my side. You're defending right, your right, side. Right. Um, I have three mana left. Let's, uh, let's, let's play this twister and see what happens. So it says, throw a minion anywhere in the realm to a random site. Deal damage to that minion and another avatar or minion on the site it lands on equal to the distance traveled. Okay. Uh, what am I going to throw? One, two, three. I could possibly throw your demon. I could also throw this pegasus. Let's throw the pegasus. So... Okay. It says uh, a random site. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, D there's no D8. There's no D8. <laughs> Only D20s. I have an object. So uh, just uh, do reroll seventeen through twenty and just divide by two. Hold on, I got a D8 right here. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So this is one. I'm, I'm doing one left is... rights. Two. So here. That's okay. one, two, three, four, so... five, six, seven. One, two, three. So it's three damage. So it takes three. It takes three. And another avatar or a minion on the side of Lance. Okay. So just it's taken three. Okay. Alright. That is my turn. 
All right, I'm going to untap, untap. Going to draw a yeah. spell. That could backfire on me, right? I feel like it lands on me. Yeah, yeah, you throw the Pegasus I don't know that this card is good. Because <laughs> it's... It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It is it is cool. I think it's better if you're, like, spell-heavy and not minion-heavy. I think it's, like, a build-around card, lack of, right? The lack of control over it's pretty rough. Like of any sort yeah, of well, controller. Yeah, it better as the game. It will. Does it get better as the game goes on? Who knows? I, it's funny. It's funny. I don't know. It is funny. All right, I'm gonna draw a spell for the turn. All right, so the Pudge Butcher is gonna hook your caravan. Yeah. Drag it over here and kill it. Oh, yeah. this guy's on. My Demon is under. Yeah. All right, my night demon is going to attack your sorcerer. Uh, okay. Um. All right. So here is a question. Uh, my I have two mana, right? Right. Sorry, four mana. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this Midlands Mercenaries card. It says Genesis, return a nearby empty village you control to its owner's hand. Okay. Um, if you can't return it, uh, return them to your hand, so the mercenaries, right? So if I use the mana from this village and it goes back to my hand, um, I return that, do I still have two mana left over? That's a great question that you asked me. Uh, yeah. I have no clue. No, I think, I yeah, think you like, get mana at the start of your turn and then whenever you play a land. So I think I think you have four in your pool, and then you play it again, and you get okay. you get a mana from it. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna play this other. I'm gonna play it again. Um, do I want to keep? I actually, I think I want to play it down here. So I'll get another foot soldier back here. Um, so this gives me three mana then. Yeah. All right. Um. I think I'll play another Plume Pegasus. It's too powerful. Um, and then I think I just leave this Foot Soldier here because if you send your Demon over to fight this Foot Soldier, I think that's fine. I think I'm fine with that. So, okay. And it is your turn. I may ha okay. Hain says yes. This works. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. I played uh, Cloud Drake here, or whatever the uh, the the three mana four three flyer that uh, puts two islands back in your hand. <laughs> That's what I guess, this guy like is. that mercenary dude is good. With I that think he's mind, pretty good, right? Yeah, I think he's ordinary too. Yeah. So, all right, I'll draw from Atlas. Okay, 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 okay. Great, interesting. Um, we're gonna. Play this shifting sands here. All right, so summoning things with haste. Until I turn, minions summoned here gain haste. I have one, two, three, four, five mana. So I could play the Cerberus and eat your mercenaries. He will get, I guess the Pudge Butcher will trade with it. So like, I'm okay with that, right? So they get, they get haste. Yeah. It's five power. You could block with a soldier, yeah. You could block with a soldier. So I could try to attack your soldier first. You could block with that soldier. You could block with the bird. This is complicated. Defending from adjacent sites. I do see why maybe it's not necessarily a... Well, that's, uh... that's the rule anyway, right? The only rule is you can't Defend, defend, undefended, undefended, yeah. So ah, okay, okay. Which honestly has not really mattered that much. Yeah, I, I, this limited game is the first time that like layering ranks. Like I, we we I, we haven't seen like this uh, this like Warhammer esque multiple ranks of combat going on all at the same time, right? right like because right. most of the time it's just been like thing in, in constructed. It's just like you're playing things to kill the other stuff. You don't so, have like this accumulation of creatures i think i do is i eat this guy that's that's chomping on my sorcerer right now <laughs> so i think <laughs> that's actively. fine and then this 
this ne demon probably just chills and stands and thinks about blocking. Um, yeah, so that is my turn. Uh, I have right. one mana left, right? Yeah, because yes, I, I paid four. You... I'm going to play this uh, fade to okay. give a minion near my spellcaster stealth. So I'll give the the server Terabus. stealth. So both of my minions okay. are currently stealthed. And I draw a card from that. Right. Cerebus is chained to the shifting stance. Yeah, so right? we'll put a little token on that. Actually, I'll All put right. red token. What do you have red token? Yeah. Yeah. I draw a spell. Okay. All right, I'm done. Or the fade. Okay, my turn. Uh, untap. Well, I had to move there to, to eat the the spirit, right? Um, yeah, like next turn I could still be stealthy. Draw. The moving and losing the ability to block is a really big deal too, because like, uh, at some point it's going to be tough to, to make the commitments to, to send guys in. And then you're, I haven't done any damage to Nathan yet. I need a, I need a big turn. I need like a bomb. To get me yeah. in this game, I feel like I have stuff. I don't. I'm not out of it. All right, the mercenaries are going to move here and attack this nowhere island for four. Hmm. So, I think I had take four there. All right, the foot soldiers are going to attack the location for one. Okay. The. So like if you yeah, if you attack with foot soldiers, I take a take one, and then if you attack with the birds, I could block, and then we trade. Yeah. So that's my don't get to death's door this turn plan. And Pudge Butcher obviously can't attack there, so. Uh, okay. So here's what we do. We, we simply it. blink oh, the Pudge Butcher. Okay. Uh, we blink them to here, I think. Maybe I blink them... I can blink them here. I think I kind of like here. Blink them to here, and then he's going to attack the site. Okay. Oh, uh... And I draw a card for the... He's going to attack the site? Um, yeah. I guess I block then. Well, do I block? I mean, you're putting me this for this turn anyway, so... I guess I'll just take it. Okay. That way you don't... Wait, if he's a mobile, away. can he still blink? Teleport feels oh. like it gets around a mobile, right? Yeah. Well, there's there's the card that specifically says it can't move unless a mobile means it will never ever move under any circumstance. I haven't drawn my card for it. I yet, feel like but... teleporting or blinking things gets around that. Maybe. Yeah. I think maybe a mobile just can't take the move action. Right. Anybody editing the community wikis right now? Airborne creatures can move diagonally, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, immobile. immobile. Purely speculation? Based yeah. on the uh, flavor of the cards, teleport and blink, I feel like that would move stuff. All right, I'm going to move the plume pegasus up. I'm going to... I'm going to... Force, force movement move does, not does not count. Okay. Uh, so would, stuff like, would stuff like... Um, like harpies and or not harpies, uh, sirens or whatever, the ones that compel movement. Do those work? Uh, yeah. So I guess the harpies are different because they carry you. Not the harp, not the harpies. The, like, like the minion anglers. with a mobile can still forcibly move through card effects. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, it just can't right, move so itself. I am going. So you got to teleport and draw a card. Did you oh, do that? Yeah, I need to do that. Where or? am I going? Uh, do we run over here? <laughs> uh, that's that's a you attack me for the left. win, right? Um, yeah. I still have mana There's no left, safe so. place here. There is no hiding. Yeah, I'll just go here. I think, think your best bet's Actually, back there in the corner. Like here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll draw. Alright, so I'm going to tap my sorcerer to draw from the, uh, the atlas. Um, okay. 
Alright, I am... Um, Alright, so it was two mana for the blink. I have two mana left. I think I summoned the Dwarven Diggy team. They'll be ready. They're not going to be burrowed. So, alright. And that is my turn. I got the soldier back here, but I think we leave him back to defend some of these. Okay, I'll draw a spell. Sirens are different as the player makes the minion move. Yeah, that makes sense to me, right? Well. The minion itself is the one moving under the siren's command. Blink is a really good card, by the way. It is. It is good. Um... How do I not die? I guess you still have to punch me. So there's that. You have quite a few. Well, you got a, you got a handful of blockers right now. How many cards are in your hand? Five. You have five spells in your hand? Yeah. What have you been doing all game? Yeah. <laughs> Servers actually can't block for me here. Like, he can't. Oh, because he can't move over. Yeah. yeah. So I might just go, like, move and hide behind him. I could also blink myself. But then I might not be able to play another thing. That's fine. We'll blink. I'll draw. Mmm. Mmm. I just play this. For three. Oh. The hell's haunt. Oh, this guy. This jerk. <laughs> this MF. This um, MF just this teleports around the board. Dead of Night Demon. I could give you a soldier, I guess. That's fine. We'll go and chomp, chomp on a soldier. No, he dies. At least I've done something with this game. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Untap, untap, untap. No, I, I still untap. can use my sorcerer. I'm going to uh, draw a sight. Okay. Untap. Draw. We're drawing a spell. Okay, uh, I'm using my sorcerer to play. We're dropping down a village right here. We'll generate another troop. Um, Hmm. All right, I think I could send uh, this these mercenaries after this demon. Okay. For killing a one of my beloved foot soldiers. Uh, this foot soldier, I think it's actually best if I just leave this foot soldier back here, in case things go awry. Um. I think I move the Pegasus here. And then the Diggy team. We gotta, we gotta move the Diggy team up. The Cerebus gets them. Uh, I've got five mana. I think I'm gonna fade the Diggy team so they've got stealth. Okay. And I draw one. Ooh. All right, I'm going to spend three mana for another Pegasus. Okay. I think this card's really good. It's in limited, pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good. I, 
<laughs> um, and then I am also going to play the boss troll. And that's my five mana. I need, fade a, boss troll. I need a flame wave, because that kills me. And it mm. is your turn. Go ahead. Mm, okay. All right. We'll draw a spell. Okay. I guess maybe I should move the Dwarving Digging Team. Yeah, it's alright. Well, uh, this uh, Headless Haunt's got to teleport. Where are we going, buddy? 11? I've arrived. Okay. okay. Uh, that's what I expect from the Headless Haunt, to teleport off into a random direction. We'll play a site. Of dubious usefulness. There. Uh, so seven mana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This and this. I could play these. Play this and this. I think it's probably the best. All right, I'm going to play another Cerberus. This one's oh chained. My. Oh my God. To here. All right. And. Hmm. These goons? The goons. We're turtling up. <laughs> and this haunt's gonna move down here. Okay. Your turn. Untap, untap, untap. Okay. I am going to draw a spell. Okay, I've drawn the card that I had five copies of. Mm, um, okay. Um, the goons must attack if able. All right, I'm going to move the mercenaries up. I, <laughs> um, I'm going to move these foot soldiers over. Uh, I'm going to play the Dryads. I had five copies of the Dryads. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably uh, pretty good. I ended up cutting them because I, I didn't actually have like eight, nine mana things to right. play. So. I focused. Uh, I focused on my deck uh, playing things that I thought had pretty efficient stats. So, anyway, here they are. The dryads are here. This the stat um, thing is definitely working for you. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then. This game almost makes me wish that damage stayed turn to turn, like Keyforge. Yeah, so that way any I of the like, big things would die. on not dying, right? Yeah. Instead of just being overrun. Well, the the like right now you're turtled up, so um, I can't like get to your spellcaster, right? Because yeah. this Pegasus flies in and then dies. So I'm actually I, I'm considering digging the Pegasus down with the dwarven the digging team. Uh, because then I can pop it out of the earth later. <laughs> um, so, all right. Uh, I guess I'll move this. Uh, I'll leave the Fit Soldier there. I'm just like, I don't want this stupid haunt to teleport and start beating on me. Uh, and then I think this Pegasus stays here too. And it's your turn. Okay. Oh my God. Too much, stuff. too much stuff here. Okay. I'm looking at six six heads of dog trouble over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll draw a spell. Oh, I didn't use my sorcerer. I could draw a uh, an atlas card. I'm pretend I did that.
Haunt moves, yeah. Haunt moves. Two, nine. Bang! Okay. Okay. Here's the plan. We're gonna blink this ogre, these ogre goons, to here. Uh huh. All right. I draw a card. I have four mana left. We're gonna whirling blades on this ogre. Uh -huh. It moves up to two steps in a cardinal direction. In a cardinal direction. Okay, so like it only can go one direction. Uh -huh. So do I actually want to put them here? So it kills all this stuff. And then I can hit your spellcaster. Yeah, it's, that's fine. So moves up two steps in a cardinal direction, so. One, two. All right, so all this stuff's dead because it takes four. Yeah, it does four to everything it moved past. So that's pretty cool. And then must attack an enemy minion if able. It will. That's unfortunate. I can't attack the spellcaster. We'll attack this. I guess. Yeah, we'll attack the dryads. And they're toast. The haunt will attack your site for four. I've done it. Yeah. Damage. Uh, take... You can attack with, or you can block with the, the Pegasus. Yeah, yeah I'm not doing that. Just, you can block with it. I am not. <laughs> uh, and then I will draw a site. Okay, your turn. All right, drawing a spell. Hyper. Hyper. Thanks for that sub. 21 months. Whoa. Wowie. Rolling Blades, right. I think, is a good card. Certainly, I am twister. going to play the Rustic Village. I need my Cerberi to protect me, please. Protect. Yeah, I agree. We're time. I think the blades are... Uh, that, that trinket might be have been playable. So I got the trinket that costs one, and it gives a minion plus one power, and it returns to your hand at the end of the turn. No, oh, okay. I yeah, was like, I was yeah. debating on whether or not to play it. I ended up not playing it. It's an interesting card. It is, yeah. Rolling Blades plus something that takes up multiple sites, that's legit. Yeah, that's really legit. That's uh, mega I legit. Have, I have six mana. I am going to play... Would agree with that character. Uh, House Arn Bannerman. Mm, okay. And then I am going to have... Uh, this Pegasus attack, the Headless Haunt. Hells aren't Anderson. <laughs> Pulls out his gun. Uh, I'm going to move the mercenaries to here. And um, it is your turn. Okay. Ball draw spell. Ooh. 
Okay. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have killed the uh, the headless haunt. I should have moved my Pegasus up. Just to threaten. In yeah. retrospect. We gonna play a site. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana this turn. Goons is ready. Yeah. Oh, they don't have to attack a minion either. Bang. I'll defend with the foot soldier. Okay. Your soldier defense plan paid off. Yep. Finally did. Save me four life. Yep. Just as gain four life is pretty good, I think. We're going to play this kite archer. Over here. After he attacks, he moves. Uh, at the end of your turn, this archer may move to an adjacent site. Okay. He's range two. And. I'm going to play his hippogriffs. Airborne haste. Uh, probably don't want to play him there because he could punch Butch. Just like stack this place up. Because I was like, I could play here and attack your thing, but Pudge Butcher can block, right? So, that's not great. Also, your bannermen are there. Can I summon? So, I could go here and then attack your bannermen. That's probably worth it. Yeah, let's do can that. I guess just defend. I don't think you can defend diagonal with airborne minions. I believe that is not uh, part of airborne. But if someone wants to paste the airborne rules or ink. Um. Clarify that. That's that's welcome. But I believe Airborne can still only defend orthogonal. I'm not even sure if they can attack diagonal, actually. Is it just move? It might just be move, yeah. Let me look at this rule book real quick. Airborne's kind of a loaded keyword, right? Like it just yeah, has a lot, a lot of on. stuff going on with it. It can only it block, can adjacent. Only block yeah. adjacent. Okay. May move to nearby yeah. locations and can attack airborne minions. If a player's airborne minion on a side is being attacked by a opponent's minion without range or airborne, they may tap their minion to block the attack or let it go through onto the site. Okay. That's the that is the airborne text. But it's now under consideration to block near sites. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> don't allow it. Uh, so Cerberus. I don't, think we've played, there. I don't think we've played a game that doesn't have an asterisk, right? So it's not. That's true. It's... I so I so I've spent eight mana. I have one more mana left. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I have eight. So I've spent all mana. Um, Cerberus's. Is... Uh, it's it might be worth going to punching you a mercenary. Can attack it uh, adjacent with air or no? Then. Uh, nearby, that, you mean? Yeah. Was it? Was that what we? That's what we don't know. I think this Cerberus is gonna go munch on this mercenary while I have the chance. Okay, I'll defend with this soldier. Okay. So attack is okay. Attack nearby. is okay. 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 Then I lost the game just now. I don't need. I can't do that then. Okay. All right, I'm done. All right, untap. Untap. Draw. Draw on a spell. Uh, okay. I think I've got you like three different ways here. Okay. Um, so I can uh, bury one of the Cerebuses. Ah. And then I can attack you twice. Okay. Um, one of the Cerebuses goes underground, and I attack with the Militia, and then the Pegasus can come in for the last one. And then I also drew Ball Lightning, so... Um, That'll do it, yeah. I think I get... I can move my sorcerer up and then ball lightning into your sorcerer right. to get him as well, right? All right. So, well, there you go. I had immolation. This is my card. Oh, yeah. Uh, did I didn't have cool. the flame threshold for it yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It wasn't going to get me out of the trouble, but yeah. I think 
Pudge Butcher did a lot of work yeah, that game. I also got Cascone of Flame, which would have helped a little earlier, I think. Yeah, not after you were at Death Store, right? Yeah. So. Okay, there you go. That was the first game of Sealed. Um, do you want to try Winchester oh. Draft just to like show off another format and see how it works? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That'd be really cool. All right, delete all this crap. Um, he's killing it all. Deleted. Yeah, uh, that was um, that felt very tactical, but there was like a lot of really swingy stuff. Yeah. I actually cut counter spells because I was like, I'm not, I don't, I had the exceptional counter spell and I had the counter near your spell caster. Hmm. I wonder. And I was like, I don't know if the counter near your spellcaster is actually good or not. I so. think at the end of the game, it could be the difference between winning and losing. Possibly. Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. Um, if you're both at death's door, uh, but I opted to play more aggressive. Right. Um, I actually I had two. Uh, I had two lightning or thunderbolts. Um, also. Oh shit. In okay. My deck. So, yeah. I, didn't get I, any I was like, I'll, actually. Now that I think I'm, I'm going to play pretty pretty aggressive. Yeah. So. All right. So Winchester draft is how this. Here's how this works. We're going to open six packs, and we're not looking at any of the cards. Then we're going to shuffle them all together into a giant pile, and we are both going to be drafting out of this one pile. So 84 cards. Um, that's all this pack. So we're going to delete this pile, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn. We're going to shuffle this together. You can see the sorcery, I mean, the Alice cards yeah, popping up. A... That's fine. We'll just know that they're coming up, right? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, we're going to make four face-up piles. And first pick grabs a card. And then the piles refill. So this would have two, two, one, and two. And then Nathan takes a pile. And then the piles refill. So piles can stack up as you're drafting. And that's just that's how it goes. So... We'll roll to see who picks first, and we'll make a we make decks based on our picks here. So this is um this is like a draft format. This is a good way to play two player draft. It's, it can what I, what I even rule? Uh, you rolled eleven. I rolled nine. Okay, so I'll take first pick. So what do we got? Bunch of ordinaries. We know that this Pegasus is good. Um, I think it's nomads are fine. Too. I like the nomads, yeah, and the, also the caravan. I think the Pegasus is probably the best card here. So I'll go ahead and take that, and then we refill. Okay. Heat ray, huh? Bears. And there's no other win cards, interestingly, right? It's been a long time. We used to play this draft format, uh, me and Nathan, with our Magic Cube. Yeah. That's the only time I ever I've, played with it, and it was really fun. I've, done a, I've done a lot of Winchester drafting, because it's, uh, it's, it's a way to draft with two people that is interesting. Um, I like it better than Rochester. Uh, yeah. And you get all the information as far as like what your opponent's taking, too. Without all the information of what all is here. Uh, okay, so I'll just talk through my pick. I think this is kind of tough. Uh, I think all three of the piles that have two of them are, are very good. I'm going to opt for the removal pile, though. Yeah. So like now uh, I know I that you took the fire and water pile. Like, do I leave this for you? I mean, it really, really depends yeah, on what so flips, right? These also only have critically only one threshold each on each of them. Who is a mirror I don't realm? Think Ooh, the mirror realm, the best site in the game. Okay, so my next pick is tough, right? Because. I don't, there's no air on the board, so it's not really going to play into my first pick at all. I could take the Mirror Realm pile, which is I think is decent, because I do it gets me some fire, it gets me into Earth a little bit. Uh, the Midlands Mercenary has proved that they're pretty decent stat-wise. Um, this pile, I think if I take this pile, you're going to take this Amazon Polar Bear Cavalry pile. It's just like too good for what you already have, right? Uh, yeah, well, I could I take that pile. Uh, the Amazon Warriors uh, are six power, for and five. that tower's far above everything. So yeah, actually, that's insane. I, I saw them, and I was like, I, I I had a copy of them in my deck, and I was like wanting to get them because I think they're very that it's just such such good stats for yeah. their cost. But then right? I, then all of a sudden I start competing with you for stuff. But I might just be drafting for the Amazon Warriors in this pack, essentially, right? Um, well, it's the stuff that's only one threshold. It's not really competition in yeah. my head, right? That's why this pack's okay because like the mercenaries are good, and then I know that the mirror realm is going to get played in my atlas. Um, 
as far as how impactful it's going to be is it'll just and be it'll depend right i mean if it's making like two other foot soldiers that's sweet if it's adjacent to some villages like, yeah. that's cool um if it, gives you, it, gives, it gives you it could give you a burst of three mana right yeah yeah or with more. towers with towers if you if you had it like in a u shape and you played it in between three towers you could get four mana from it in one turn yeah i think, I think it's really take... ambitious i don't think that's very likely it's tough but... it would be tough to i'm gonna take this pile this just like opens all my options up right so there we go Ooh, Ooh, fireball a fireball is pretty good uh that is a bedrock the bedrock and your adjacent sites are immovable and alterable and indestructible and then a sandstorm Okay. <laughs> We're drafting four colors here. Everyone needs to block nearby as well as attack nearby. Mm, okay. I think I think uh Sorry. Hane I'm... said they're they're testing um block nearby, but that's not in the rules yet for Airborne. Uh Fireball's really good, but uh, it's hard to take just it, right? It is, but it's real good, right? It's like real good. I actually kind of like this deep sea mermaids frontier settlers pile. The settlers too, are right? pretty sweet, yeah. Because um, they're both card advantage piles. Um, uh, I'm going to take that pile, I think. Ooh. Another sandstorm. What is this pile? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of lands are there. So like shifting sands mirror realm is actually super good, right? Yeah. Mm. But this fireball sacred scarabs pile is pretty tempting. I'm not super high on the sandstorm. Fae Changeling's good in this pile as long as long as like the Riptide. I like Fate Changeling a lot. Yeah. It's a very defensive card, right? But man, this this site's tower or this site's uh pile. Oh Sight's boy. Pile. Or basically basic lands are free. Yeah, the ordinary lands. You can yeah. put as many of those in your deck as you want. Uh I'm gonna take the fireball pile. God. Oh my oh my lord. Oh, I don't know if I can say no to the uh the wants to play it so you can block and attack nearby. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. We'll play it that way then. That's a Sea Raider pile. That pile's too strong, right? It's too it's too good. Too strong. Get over here. Oh man, what's oh my god. I mean I gotta take this pile now. It's it is insane. I like the mummy pile though. Uh, you can still only play up to four of each of the three, so it's like maximum twelve. And the the uh, Alice is fifteen currently, as it has. That's how we're playing at least. All right, we got it. Fire is super thick in this pod. All right, is that finally another air card? We're gonna both playing fire. This fire immunity on this noble is gonna be relevant. Oh geez, it's gonna be hard to stack my stuff up. I'm gonna have to make piles. Haste six power four or six mana four power. It's decent. Another mercenaries. Uh, I'm gonna take the <coughs> heat ray polar bear pile. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, Mirage. It's all the thresholds. Um, berries there, Rattlesnake, Mummies, Critical Strike. Or I take this giant pile of fire and earth, which I think is... And it's another Midlands Mercenaries for me. I like that. We like that. Beast of Burden actually seems pretty good. Yeah, we'll take this pile. Okay. Oh, it's Firebolts too. Hell yeah. Oh, what is this? The Lord of the Void! Oh, shit. Yes, you you can play a game if you draft zero lands. 
the the ordinary lands will be available for deck building outside the game as well as art avatars. Taking the pile. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if this Lord of the Void's getting played, but I like the, the berry in this pile, at the very least. Berry's just so good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this pile. Hey. <laughs> Leviathan Island, uh the top of the apex of Babel, probably useless. <laughs> yeah. It's not a, like it's unique playable. too. <laughs> so yeah. you're probably not seeing the bottom, right? There's a turn one win combo with the Lord. Oh, interesting. You um how do you get the threshold? How do you get threshold? Uh, I am going to take this pile. Okay. It's not like a ton of useful stuff for me. Hmm, so we're starting to see the air stuff now. Uh, Mountain Pass, Babel, Trinket, Digging Team. So out of there, I probably will only play the Digging Team. I'm, I'm targeting like air and, or earth and fire right now, I think. We, uh, we might end up having to play some other stuff though, right? So using Mix Air. Oh, the, the artifact, right? I could grab this just in case there's something I wanted to spell. And then in case I play air, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll just grab this pile here. Cloud Spirit, Fae Changeling, Pudge Butcher, and Stonehenge. Everyone there is spellcasters, right? Yeah. Means you have spellcasters. And it is no threshold. Uh, I think I take the pile of five. I think it's real close though. Which what uh, was the other one you were looking at? The Pudge Butcher pile. Yeah, Pudge yeah. Butcher roaming knight pile. Ro well, uh, sorry, roaming monster There's pile. A lot of sights in here. <laughs> um, Cloud Spirit and the Cornerstone, or I could take the Pudge Butcher. I think I take this Pudge Butcher pile. Miracle Workers, Atlas Wanders, ooh. Hang Glider, and Unland Eel. Well, I got a uh, uh, greeny. He's dying. I think my pick is going to be this last one here, this last pile. Sick pile over here. Stalker. I think we saw the fire stuff at the front. Hmm. Three, three earth thresholds is going to be tough to hit in this format, I think. I like the stalker. Oh, 
it could be easy to hit, but you won't have your other threshold. Correct. Right. <laughs> exactly. And it's it's like you might end up having to play three colors. Yeah. So I'm real on water. I think I'll just grab this pile here. The wolves. Mm. Yeah, if this if this works out and it's fun, this would be a great way to open a lot of our products. Yeah, I agree. I think I take I think I'm gonna have to take this uh pile right here. Twelve more cards left, so Okay. Ooh. This pile. Too strong, I think. Yeah, we'll take this pile here. Jeez, another cornerstone. An old growth forest. Doomsday Prophet Elite. That'll be tough to make work, but if you could get him to work. Uh I think I'd take this pile. So many miracle, miracle workers. workers. Yeah, I guess they are ordinary. No, the wolves in another pack. Ooh, evil presence. Can I get my Void Lord to play with evil presence? <laughs> um, let's grab this pile here. Mostly for the heat ray. I guess I'll break up the wolves and take this cornerstone. I think this is worth taking. So we'll take this. All right. That's the draft. Time to build decks. All right. I don't think I'm going to end up playing air. Probably still going to be earth and fire. I'm losing some cool stuff from air. So we have to play 25 cards? Yeah. So I'm playing triple color? Can you, do, you feel like, do you feel like 25 cards is too many for this format? For this, yes. Because so? uh, I have 10... 10. Do, you, do you want to try 2010? Or 2012? Uh, I, think, I think 25 is fine. Do you think 25 um, is fine? Yeah, we'll, we'll play 25, but okay. yeah, it's, uh, it's, just, it's definitely a stretch. All right. I mean, I think I can get 25, um, but 20 would also be doable. Or like 22, I don't know. I don't know what the right number is. I don't even know how much testing you have to do to determine the right number. Alright, that's in. That's probably out. I don't think I want to play a bunch of these guys, but I'll play at least one. That's definitely in. All right, that's 10. Yeah, I might have to play some cards I don't necessarily want to play. Or I could play three color, but I don't know if that's necessarily correct either. So that's like, I'm like, I found 20 playables I am actively happy about playing. And am I just playing four color? <laughs> I could I could extend to three color, which might be worth. Like I would play that and that, probably that and that.
or I can just stick to two. These are like actively bad. Yeah, I like don't have enough playables to play too, so. Yeah, it's kind of where I found myself. Yeah. I'm feeling like we should do 2010. Considering we made packs out of, we made two people's worth of packs out of six packs, right? Or two people's worth of decks out of six packs. Can I get a second for 2010 or 2012? Uh, yeah, I can't, I, I, like, my 25 would be absolutely terrible. Yeah, my, my 25 would be pretty bad too. I, I would have, like, I could very easily draw an opening hand I couldn't play for, like, four turns. Let's do I think. 2012. Okay. And, uh, call it, call it good. Still playing three colors, but I can do two. Um, it was twenty twelve, so here's the stuff. Yeah, I will be playing Sorcerer. Yeah, same. Always Sorcerer. All right, let's count my thresholds here. Twelve. Okay, pretty even split. All right, 2012 is the official number for Winchester Sealed. It's now official. Or Winchester Draft. We're good. These decks may be substantially less powerful than the last two decks we played. I think so. By a uh, wide margin. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually tried Winchester drafting like six magic packs and seeing how it goes. Yeah, with, with the cube, I think you took 90 cards. You took 90 cards instead of the 84, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that way you had 45 for each player. I wonder right? if one more pack. In theory, um, three packs, right? But right. They, then again, the power level of the cube's also higher. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so you're, you're more likely uh, to get the power out of yeah, those Well, cards. there's more mana fixing, too, right? Yeah. And there's not... Mana fixing in this game is not quite the same as magic, right? It's not analogous. So, okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. You ready? Yeah. Got all the stuff. Oh, what was that? That's your top area deck. Okay. Trying to delete delete our stuff. Okay. All right. Rolling. Eight. Fourteen. 14. Okay. All right. Three Atlas. Four spell book. I'm already man screwed. <laughs> um. All right, so my turn. I am going to play the Autumn River. Tapping. Playing the Autumn River. And then I get to look at the top card of my deck. Alt shift. Um, do I want to keep that there? 
Hmm, this is actually a tough call. Um, I don't think I care. So, <laughs> going down there. I need I need more for my cards. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw from the spellbook. I'll play. It's desert. Stop it. Okay, your turn. I gotta reset life totals. No, we can keep them right there, I think. Right. Alright, drawing a spell. I think I actually draw from the Atlas. Is it... This is one of those strategic decisions, right? Yeah. Um, I think I draw from the Atlas based off of what I put under my deck last time. So, draw one from the Atlas. Okay. Tap the Sorcerer to play an Autumn River. We're going to take a look at the top card. I think that one goes to the bottom. Okay, and then I got two mana. I'm going to play some Poly Bears. No, no. They're coming for you. Jeez. All right, go ahead. Okay. I'll draw a spell. Or Alice. I'll, I'll draw one from the Alice. Okay. We're gonna tap to play. A desert. We're gonna play. Some nomads. And I'm done. Gonna untap. Gonna draw a draw a spell. All right, I'm gonna tap my swisher. I'm gonna play a land. The Autumn River. And we're going to take a look at the top card. That's going under. Uh, I think I'm going to cycle here. I'm going to move my sorcerer over. And uh, draw. I may regret that in the long run. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll offer the trade. I'll have the polar bears walk down over here to attack here. I think I'll take the three. And it is your turn. All right. I'll draw a spell. Gonna tap to play a site. We're gonna play this village. Grab me a man's. And. Nomad, nomads are going wandering over here and smashing the site. Well, for three. Good. I've actually done it. I've kept pace this game. <laughs> three mana. Mm. Do I do this? Can can this card hit stuff on my site? Can firebolts hit stuff on my site? Does your fire your spellcaster fires three bolts, each traveling in a cardinal direction when they hit an enemy that each deal through one splash damage? Or does that like does traveling start at the site past start where from I am? The adjacent. It doesn't make a That's ton a of question. sense if it can't hit where it is, but I would understand if it can't. If anyone knows that. Let me yeah. know. One of those less it's one of those finer points that matters. Um, I mean, the spellcaster fires three bolts, each traveling in any cardinal direction. 
when they hit an enemy, they each deal one splash damage. So that would mean, like, the splash damage would also hit my sight. So there's that to consider. No, that would also hit me, I mean. Right. Um. So, I, I guess we'll treat it like it has to start from the space next to the spellcaster unless we hear otherwise, but yeah. I'm not going to cast them then. Uh, and it's your turn. Alright, I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw from the Atlas. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to tap my sorcerer to play yeah, your polar the desert. Here. Uh, I'll do one damage to the foot soldier. The polar bears are going to attack you. And then I am going to play the Sea Raiders. Mm. Mm. Your friend of mine. Yeah. And it is your turn. Uh, I'll draw. A spell. Or do we? We'll draw an Alice. Okay. We will exhaust and play a rustic village. One, two, three, four. Do this and this. Uh, I'll go ahead and punch this site for three. Okay, take it. I think that's fine. And we'll play this Pudge Butcher. Be afraid. Yeah. And I'm done. All right. Untap. Untap. I am drawing Atlas. I kind of like how this game is tending to be jank versus jank. I guess Pudge Butcher is not jank, but and neither Sea Rangers, but it's at least progressing at the same pace, right? Okay, I'm gonna tap my sorcerer. I'm gonna play the desert. I'll do the damage to the foot soldier there. Nearby, oh my god, yep. desert is broken. Blast. The Sea Raider is gonna attack the village up there. I'm going to get to pillage the top card of your deck. Lovely. Pillage. There you go. Well, these are... I'm just going to give those to you. Is it They're discard? Going anywhere. Put it into the owner's discard pile, yeah. Okay. That's your... Yeah, yeah. Uh, the poly bears are going to attack your sorcerer. You, you didn't take the three from the sea raider no. either. So it's going to attack you for three. Oh, it, okay. Um, okay, I am done here, I think. Okay. Good. Hmm. Okay, so untap. Untap. I'll draw a spell. I'm going to move here. And firebolts the Sea Raider. Okay. So 
Three mana left. I'm gonna use Pudge Butcher. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna use the Nomads to attack your Sorcerer. Yep. And then Pudge Butcher is gonna hook one of the closest minions in any cardinal direction, so. Oh, wait, your Polar Bears are gone. Oh. Yes, yeah, like was killing them oh. for you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you, you just did that for me. Okay, I see. Yeah, I hooked yes. the Polar Bears yeah. and yeah, they are dead. Consume them. And uh, three mana left. Is this worth it? Nearby empty village. I'll play some mercenaries and I'll pick up this village. It kind of it puts me way behind on lands, but we're threatening. So, um, I did the three damage right. Yes. So their actual life total. Okay. I am done. Okay, I am drawing. Um. Atlas. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Uh, I am gonna play Dark Tower. Um, so I've got plus one mana. I am gonna play Flanking Maneuver. And mm. Ally moves like a chest knight, so I'm gonna go one, two, and over one. Okay. For maximum confusion. And draw. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I've got four mana left. I'll draw a spell. Uh, excellent. Okay. I am going to play the Deep Sea Mermaids here. Uh, I'll play them Submer... I'll just play them here. And I'll draw from the bottom of my deck. What was the command for drawing from the bottom? I don't think there is one. You can just flip it and draw. Somebody... I won't look. The command okay. was look for looking at it. Well, maybe there is. I, don't, I just don't know what it is, obviously. Uh, okay. And then I've got... Um, I'm going to play these bats up here. Three, six... Oh, no, I can't. I'm out of... Sorry, out of mana. Played six. Okay, and it is your turn. Go ahead. There, I'll draw a spell. Tap this. All right. And this. Two. We'll chomp on these mermaids. They're dead. We'll attack Spellcaster. I take four. We will play a site. There. Actually, we'll play not that. Play this Shifting Sands here. So the enemy are, has haste this turn. I'll summon. And then I'm going to play this Sandworm. Then we're going to go punch you for five. Yep. That is my mana. Punch Butcher can't do anything. And I'm done. Alright, I'm gonna draw an Atlas. Uh, I'm gonna tap Sorcerer. I'm gonna play Mirage. I think it's bright. It gives me one of every uh, thing until the end of the turn. Uh, I'm gonna play these Hippogriffs here. And they're gonna kill these Nomads. Um, seven... Call that combo the Sarlacc pit. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the worm comes out of the Sarlacc pit. Uh, okay, that's my turn. Go ahead. Okay. 
Draw spell. We'll, uh... Death door, yeah. yeah. Smash. And I'll teleport over here and draw. We'll take a... I can't do that. This is where is confined. Uh, we'll just walk back over here. Highly doubt this worm is going to be able to contest now. I would have to wait. Uh, so, like, I was trying to pick up this village to play a fire site here to be able to play the, the worm into your fire sites. But now I don't think there's a way for me to do it. We're going to go here. I think, yeah, need more packs. Right, like one or two more packs is probably fine. Do I even have a creature that's five power? <laughs> I, like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. think I do. Yeah. I don't know how I kill this Pudge Butcher, right? I have gonna, to send, like, two creatures at it. I'm going to bury this Hippogriff. Sure. And play a Bosk Troll. This is why we test things, though, right? Uh, my turn? Yep. Untap. Draw spell. So I, uh, I'm going to point out that I had, I needed two air threshold to play this Hippogriff. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was drawing frantically from the Atlas deck. And I had five, uh, threshold, five cards that gave me air threshold, and I had one in my hand. And the bottom four cards of the Atlas deck were the other part of the fire threshold. Oh, oh sorry, of the other part of the air threshold. That's yeah. what, that's like... I was like, I would like these guys in play sooner so that I could actually maybe fight you. But sealed might just be uh, better. I'm... Also, like as far as a limited experience with two people, it might just be better with sealed. Um, well, I mean, I don't is think it's... Eight, is eight packs or like seven packs? Uh, is the drafting think, too well, long or? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Right, the draft went pretty quickly. It did. Yeah, I was actually but... faster than I thought it would go. So, I mean, I, th I feel like the power level of the cards that we opened was very low. It did seem I mean, like, like that. there was a lot of stacking of, of if I look at cards. this, if I look at the stuff that like I'm not playing, like I'm, I'm uh, they're uh, like Sandstorm. I mean, maybe yeah, the Sandstorm like good storms, here, right? but I don't know. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't think it is because you can spread your guys out or whatever. Right. Um, so. Um, I do wonder if they're I... looking at buffing some of those underpowered cards. I would hope so. Um, you cannot bury these guys. Well, why? Oh, because on I'm on site. a water site. Oh, good call. Good call. Um, all right. So I'll you pick have the cheated, up. You have not only cheated we yourself. Removed? You have cheated the stream. We removed the asterisks. It's You've fine. cheated the integrity of our partnership. Uh huh. All right. All right. Let's I am going. going to going. play. Um. These bats. Them bats. I've got three. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll play these bats. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play this up here. And we'll look at the top card. Keep that on top. Um, I don't. They. Uh, oh, he'd have to hook the troll, right? Yeah, he'd have to hook the troll. Unless the troll moved out of the way. Like, troll could move here, and then he could hook that, right? Yeah, it's still oh in a cardinal direction. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll I'll play the bats right there, and then I'll play this plume Pegasus up there as well. Um, three, three, seven. That's five. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Uh, go ahead. Well, uh, these hypocrites. I think they just say where they are. All right, I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna shoot you with this fireball. Okay. Yeah. And assuming that's the same thing as Firebolts, where it travels like starting in the cardinal direction. Otherwise, it yeah. would explode there, right? But I think yeah, I, need... I think that's how it works. So it goes. I'll, I'll die to burn spell. Yep, get used to that. Dies to a burn spell. 
Yeah, uh, the power level here, I don't, I feel like you play the Pudge Butcher, and I had literally had no way to kill it. <laughs> right. I like two for one myself or some shit, right? Like, Amazon Warriors, unkillable. Yeah. I, unkillable. I have to, like, I have to, like, I can block one of them forever with the Sling Pixies. All kinds of beef in the deck. But, Pull up with beef. Yeah. Well, seeing as how I won the sealed game, I think sealed is better than Winchester draft. I think sealed was a better experience. Um, can we refer from where you started at the Griffs to kill him with burst? Uh, like hit the thing yeah, I think so. there. Yeah. yeah, that would work too. Yeah, I was. I mean, I I died. I I'm dead to bourbon. Yeah, right? like it just the fireball. It happens. All right, there it, 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 it was like a pretty even game, and they killed all my shit, and I couldn't play any of my stuff because I didn't have the threshold. Yeah. And that was because you were forced yeah. to play three colors, basically, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I think right. I think we I could try it with the seventh nothing. pack in the future and see if that helps. Yeah, I think I and also the, the pool sucked. I think the, well, I, don't, I mean, the pool was interesting, right? You I mean, can, I got some that, good stuff. That's that's one of the things about Winchester Draft that makes it interesting is that all the information's there, yeah. right? Yeah. So you're having to so like um, you took the burn spells fairly highly. Um, but I didn't have like a chance for a counter picks, right? Because if I, you had the fire immunity dude, and you had all the fire spells, yeah. right? So I I had a fire damage. I had heat ray in my hand, but it only does two. Um, yeah, I think heat I ray two, is like not killing. Stuff. I had two heat rays, but so I was gonna have to draw both of them to dent your stuff. But right. you had so many five power guys. I never had a chance. Like, I um, wonder if you could you could buff heat rate to three damage without too much because like two power doesn't kill many creatures. Uh, this game, right? I mean, the heat rate costs two, so costs I'm two, not yeah. sure that I'm it's not sure powerful. that. I guess that's is, like yeah, it's like double thunderbolts or like four thunderbolts in a row. So yeah, I mean, not. it's doing eight damage in it's theory. Only, because yeah, but it's only damaging spellcaster if it hits their site. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. I, it, like it, uh, we also, Winchester... I'm not going to try to propose changes after two games. Just, yeah, but, I, yeah I, I, don't, I don't think there's much to draw, like a ton of conclusions to draw from this game card yeah. power wise, right? right? Like yeah. it was the decks were very low power sealed. I felt like I could I, I had plenty of agency in this one. I was just like playing what I had to. Yeah, I mean, uh, I had like a couple decks I could have built out of my sealed pool too. I, I do wonder how uh, my mono earth deck would have fared. I think it actually would have been pretty good. So, yeah, yeah. I think um, in my sealed pool, I did not have a ton of options. I think, well, in my head, I yeah. didn't have a ton of options. I think I was playing like the best stuff that I had. I had like the 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 uh, in the sealed, I had like options about like what I didn't play. Like I had this land deed, I didn't play. Right. I could have played it. Uh, I had the cross. I had the ballista in my deck, right? Like I the ballista had. Ballista is like auto include. Um, I feel like it's so good. I think the ballista is really good, but yeah. like I cut these guys, even though they're ranged, but because I didn't like the fact that they had two power. Yeah, two power is a bummer on those guys for sure. So um, I cut them. I cut the dryads because there was one. I had two wolves, but I didn't feel like that was enough, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, there's m more copies of it. I considered playing this creature because it could block forever, but I felt like I wanted more from my cards. Um, and then I also had two of these zombies, but uh, I didn't have like a ton of mortals. The dryads are mythics, mm, so yeah. um, those didn't, didn't count. Uh, and then air, I had some like good stuff. I had like whirling blades, and um, uh, this is actually I realized this was an earth spell uh, the exceptional yeah. counter spell um but i had like the uh um a couple of these ravens that i think Those you could actually fine. yeah um probably get some work out of um i had a the fire air duel oh yeah uh, approximately worth 340 dollars <laughs> man imagine and the full of that it's two thousand yeah. dollars easy easy two thousand dollars but um, I opened that, but uh, I I didn't like my fire enough to play it. I had fireballs. I had like poison nova. I had um, I had a bunch of like one threshold stuff that was like pretty good burn. Yeah. But um, I had like some other stuff that didn't. I feel like didn't quite make the cut. Sealed was uh, six packs a person to build our. I'm yeah six packs a person to build the decks with, and then 
the draft was six packs shuffled into a pile that we drafted from. So three packs a person in the draft, which is what you'd get at an eight player table, right? But yeah. eight players drafting is way more cards than the rotation. Uh, I may as well go through my uh, sealed rationale here at the end. I did open two Wrath of the Seas and a and a Hurricane, so it's like what? real tempting. Uh, it was like real tempting to play those because I could just like if you weren't playing water, it's just like I just kill your minions <laughs> and I just kill them again, right? Yeah. Um, but I opted to play like a more adre- uh, aggressive strategy, and then uh, so that makes sense. I had the sunken treasure, which is kind of dope too. Oh man, and the the ultra yeah, investments to go get the sunken treasure. <laughs> oh, the idea of putting the uh, the worm in the ultra investments so it can the fireworm can like go anywhere. Yeah, well, I had the um, I actually had the hounds, the seven power void walk, submerge burrowing. Yeah whatever the, those guys like i ha- um the ones that make your adjacent minions lose stealth so i had those um uh <laughs> that in theory could go get the sunken treasure as well but yeah, yeah. all right well there you go there is yeah it was uh, I, the sealed sealed stuff's interesting it's fun i yeah, think fun. Uh, I, I think like this these game, kind of games i think booster draft for this game would be a lot of fun oh my gosh yeah absolutely At, like like a lot of fun yeah I've always loved booster draft, like every every game ever. But I think this game is is pretty well situated for that. So there could be some wacky stuff going on. You could you I could really focus know. on a on a plan too. I think with eight people on the table. Uh, yeah. Well. So. Like yeah, like um, I the the difference like with this game, like as far as uniques and elites go, it's hard to have like a build around strategy a car for a card that you have like one copy of in 25 right yeah um i'm assuming so, i'm assuming you don't have to abide by the deck building rules for those in limited if you if you open it yeah I feel like yeah, you open yeah. Two, then again the unique. i don't think you, could, you you can't really plan on seeing two copies of the same unique no right yeah then you might not even um, see a unique so, at all right you know all right that's it. Yeah, there you go. I think I think we're I think we're wrapped up. Yep. I uh, I would I'm interested in playing more sealed. I will we'll think yeah. about if we wanted to adjust the numbers. Uh, 15 cards atlas might be too many. Um even in sealed. Yeah, it was 12. I got stuck, right? Like I needed two. I drew both of my fire lands before I drew. I only had so I only had three fire spells in my 20. And mm-hmm. I had Two fire lands in the mirage. Oh wow! So my rationale was Jeez. the mirage turn will let me play my fire spells because I think my fire spells were like two mana, two mana, and maybe three mana or something. Yeah. So I was like, I, the the mirage will let me get past whatever threshold I need. Um, You're not ever and, gonna like 100 percent hell yourself, right? So I think I think 12 is more reasonable than 15. You're not gonna get yeah. through those all those 12 in a sealed game probably anyway, right? Um, no. But you still at the same time. Can like every other game hit your most impactful lands, and you don't necessarily have to struggle with hitting your thresholds, like numbers right. and thresholds, right? Yeah, I, with two in the fifteen, I felt like I was fine. Like I, I didn't have exactly what I needed in the first draw, but it didn't like I, I got there. When right? you, I, so. I don't know about starting with an ordinary, ordinary land to play, just because then you're altering the rules of the game, and I, you yeah, wanna, yeah. I think you want to avoid that as much as possible. For limited, yeah. You want the rules to be the same. It's true. It should be the same game, um, just with right. sort and some numbers tweaked, right? Yeah. To make it work, like infinite or deck building with ordinary lands is, is the the compromise. And see, yeah, like your one your one cost creatures, I think get devalued if you already start with a mana in play. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Agreed. So. All right. I already think one cost creatures in this game already struggle. I think they do too. I think they need to. Push them a little yeah. bit. Yeah, well, because like in Magic, if I play a one drop, I can attack you immediately with it. In this game, if I play a one drop, it has to like walk all the way across the table. Yeah, and then by the time it gets there, it's a two power donk that is dead. Yeah, versus whatever, like your opponent could have four mana or something like that. So it's just like the you know the uh, the creatures hopelessly outclassed. Yeah, I was so. talking about the the camel, the two power camel for one red, and I was like. I don't, I, I don't see why I'd play this guy. Like, you're right, you're right, but you play him first turn, and then 
by the time he does anything, or he yeah, just dies yeah. to some random splash damage at some point and does nothing yeah, at all. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's yeah, the problem it's with like, that. It's like another strike general. against... Yeah, you don't... I mean, I like that the... I, I like that there's not really a... There's not really, like, a swarm deck, because you can't just... Like, one fireball just shuts it down. Yeah, like, if they're all in the same square, they just yeah. all die to the damage, so... Um, it's, it's like you, you, you have to, if you're going to have like a lot of creatures that need to be spread out, you know, like you need the real estate for it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of like really interesting strategy, tactical decisions you have to make in this game, but I think, uh, like realizing like strat- strategies that just are really far behind to begin with or if, the, like, if it's a strategy you could choose that would be an uphill battle for you just based on how the game normally flows yeah yeah but I mean, that's yeah, that's I mean, where like, you can push like um power levels of certain cards and that's where you can push design space to to make those strategies viable in the future so that's kind of cool right you could have like yeah. you could have like low power guys that are immune to splash damage right immune to splash right. damage could definitely be a keyword that... yeah well and so like uh let's say Turn one, I play my land. Turn two, I play my land to put it directly in front of me. And you either play your land directly in front of me or not, right? Yeah. Turn three, if I play a land and I put it directly where yours, in front of yours, then, um, and then I drop three one drop dudes. Right. Right? Like, is that a viable strategy? I think that's better than playing it turn one, right? Because then they're untapped, they can block for each other. As opposed to right. like walked walked there, and the the one that's that you played first turn is now tapped and just moved there. Exactly. So you know, I think that, yeah. that's that you do makes sense. miss out. You miss out on three mana. Yeah, but like those uh, those I f- I felt like I was in a real far behind. Well, like I played the polar bears, and I was like, oh yeah, I feel pretty good about this because I have like a three power. I did work for a while. The, yeah, well, but you played the the nomads, the nomads, and um like essentially we're we're in effectively the same position right right yeah um where we were just trading three damage back and forth so um like in that previous example we talked about if you played the nomads on turn two at your second location they can immediately they run. attack yeah exactly right right like and they're immune to fire which more or less makes them immune to use not a, a totally lot of splash, splash damage, in the game. damage but immune to a decent chunk of splash damage. yeah not to mention that they can't, they couldn't get desert plus fire imp to death. That's also true, right? man. Fire is fire immunity the best keyword in the game. Fire immunity may be insane, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, uh, so that's true. You can still die. It still dies to thunderbolt, right? Dies still to gets spirit buried. Destiny. Yeah, die dies to ballista or whatever. But still, hmm. it's one of those where it's just kind of like I, I'm not like uh, I don't. I don't know what like the early game develops into necessarily, yeah. but uh, if we're talking about ordinary cards, cards that are going to be uh, around a lot, like that that Nomad guy seems really good. He does seem awesome. I mean, it's solid stat wise too. Cost two, three power. Movement plus one yeah. is really strong. I and mean, the he's just he's great. Crazy. Yeah. So the movement plus one lets you bypass defenders and stuff. Yeah, like you that, run right? past go to the, an undefended site, yeah. past defenders. Uh yeah, I mean I, I like uh this game really gets us talking about why well, yeah, strategies too right. It's like there's a lot yeah. to think about when we play this. Yeah, well and uh like I I in my head I draw a distinction between strategies and tactics right because uh, and I try to like make sure because the the actual actual positioning on the map is its own skill and yeah. not just my deck is attempting to do this thing right right. Um, because I think those are those are related, right? You need both to win the game, but how how those um, uh, you like, have to like implement your tactics and yeah, like movement plus one is a very tactical skill because that lets you go places that it's difficult for your opponent to defend. Yeah, right. Yeah. So okay, and, like submerged burrowing or tactical. When to thing. do that? When is it? Yeah, good? When, when is it? When right. is it losing you essentially an action if you just decide to summon yeah. someone, someone yeah. something burrowed when you shouldn't have really right? Right. All right. Cool. All right. That that'll that'll wrap up the stream. I think. Um, next week I will we'll figure something out. I, I'm kind of leaning toward more limited stuff. I would like to play more limited because I, I had a lot of fun and this, really, is, this lets us jump in and like 
build on the fly. So yeah, and and I think we'll end up playing spells that we wouldn't normally have played. Exactly, also. and we'll experience experience yeah. different kinds of strategies. Yeah. Thanks for watching, yeah. everybody. Uh, this was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. As so. always, um, we appreciate it. If you like our stuff, here's our socials. I'll remember uh, to actually post it this time. So follow us on Twitter and join the Discord. Uh, all that good yeah. stuff for all the, the cool discussions on sorcery we have in the Discord. Um, yeah, Twitter, we play other games. live. We play a lot of other games on other streams. We'll be back next Thursday, probably for sorcery. Same time as this week. But yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, right. everyone. Have a wonderful evening. We will see you on Sunday for Keyforge. Goodbye.